What's going on YouTube? George Wall 5 here checking in. I am machining down the valve guides and valve boss, valve guide boss on a pair of 60 I'm sorry, 062 Vortec heads. They are for my 355 Chevy. Small block Chevy that I got. Um trying to do a I got a larger cam in it and of course y'all know with these vortex heads they the best uh stock heads that GM has ever produced but uh you always run into that uh uh valve guide problem if you install in a different set of springs or at the same time installing a larger cam what happens is this valve guide boss is too small well, it is too large right now, I'm sorry, too large for my comp cam springs to go on it. The damper keep on stopping it. So, what I did was, got online, went to Summit Racing, and I ordered this tool right here. It's a comp cam uh, valve guide uh, cutter. The part number for this one is uh, 4726, and what it does is it, it cuts my uh, valve guides down so that uh, they could receive the positive uh, valve seals measuring uh, 0 0.030. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate it one time so y'all can see because when I was doing my research, I couldn't find anything. It's only one video and it's made by Comp Cam itself. But uh, this is how you're going to do it right here. What it does is you sit the arbor down inside of the valve valve hole and then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna slowly rotate slowly see if I can get a different angle man my light in here is it's kind of low sorry about this shitty ass grade of video so this is what you're gonna do. Now I'm just going to stop it and I'm going to show you what it's actually doing. If y'all can see it, it's trimming down the whole valve guide and valve guide boss itself. And what you're going to do is you just keep going until uh, the valve guide boss is level with the uh, valve seat. No measuring needed for uh, this size right here that I got on there is going to already cut it to the exact size that I needed. That's what I'm going to do. I done already did uh, this whole set right here of Vortex. I already did that whole set. And I just got to finish this one right here. Then I'll be ready to install. So. Thanks for watching. I hope this uh clear up a little confusion. I don't know, man. Y'all drop me some uh comments below. Questions, you know, I try to answer whatever I can. But um sorry about the uh shitty quality quality of the video. But um I just wanted to show y'all how it works. It works perfect, man. So if y'all have any doubts, don't. This this valve guide cutter tool is going to save you a couple bucks, man. If you if you don't want to take your uh head to the machine shop. The machine shop told me they was going to charge me about 120 bucks to do all of this. And um, the tool itself, the arbor and the cutting tool, it came out to be about $60 on Summit. So, yeah, you decide. I mean, if you have some kind of experience doing this kind of stuff, man, it's simple. But uh, Josh Boyle 5 checking out.